In this lesson, we are going to implement forget and reset password. Let's test it. First of all, I create an account and sign up. Then I log out and in the sign in screen, let's say I forget my password. I click on reset password, enter my email and click on submit. I get this message. We sent reset password to your email. So I need to check my email and by clicking on the email and opening reset password, I will be redirected to this address, reset password and the token to reset the password. So I can enter the new password here and click on reset. Awesome. It says password updated successfully and let's sign in with the updated password. Let's implement forget and reset password together. Here is the plan to implement this feature. First of all, we need to set base URL in the .env file. Go to backend file.env and add base URL at the very beginning of environment variable. Also, we need to set mailgun domain and API key from the mailgun website to be able to send reset password token to the user. Next step is in the editor, I'm going to set the default formatter to prettier and setting semicolon to true and prettier single code to true. So what I'm going to do is to just press command shift P and type JSON, find open workspace setting and enter this setting. Next step is changing port from 5000 to 4000 because it create issues in the Mac OS system it conflict with the airplay. Just go to server.js, open server.js, change 5000 to 4000. Next step, setting port is going to the package.json in front end folder, open package.json. At the very beginning, change 5000 to 4000 and save it. Next step is creating base URL function in utils.js. Open utils.js in backend folder. At the very beginning, define this function. The function name is base URL. And what we do is to check the base URL. If it exists, use it. Otherwise, check the node environment. If it's development mode, use localhost colon 3000. Otherwise, use your domain name. Next step is reset password backend API. We need to create an API named reset password in the user router open user routes.js and right after profile we need to create a new router here is the function to create forget password api what we're gonna do here is to find the user based on the email in the body so here is the code to get the user from the database based on the email that has been passed through body of this API request. Then check the user. If user exists, then generate a token based on the ID of user and use JWT secret to encrypt the token and set the timeout to three hours. Then set the token to the user reset token and save it. So we need to have reset token in the user model. Go to user model and add reset token field right after the password. Add reset token of type string. Save it. Then go back to user routes and right after saving console log the reset password URL. It is start with the base URL. So we need to import base URL from utils folder slash reset password slash token. We need to implement this path in the React application later. It's just for test, but we need to send this as email to the user. Here is the code for sending email. mailgun.messages.send from your email 
to the user email the subject is reset password and the html contains the reset password link at the end send this message we sent reset password link to your email what if the user does not found we need to create else condition and send user not found to the front end here is the forget password api let's go for the next one it's reset password you are going to implement this api it's a post api so let's create the api structure right after forget password create a structure for reset password inside the body of this api we need to use verify of jwt to decrypt the token in the body of this request it's gonna be like this inside the callback function we need to check the error first if there is an error send the status to 401 and the message to invalid token for the else part get the user from the database based on the token because in the forget password we set the reset token in the database for the selected user in the reset password we need to fetch the user that has that token so by getting the user from the token we can set the new password here is the code to update the password if user exists if we have password in the body of request set the user password to the encrypted version of plain password then save the user and send this message to the frontend otherwise show user not found message to the frontend save the code and that's it about the backend of forget and reset password let's go for frontend part go to sign in a screen and add a link for forget password open sign in a screen at the very end find this div and right after this div create another div it says forget password question mark click on reset password link and we redirect user to the forget password page next step is creating forget password screen go to frontend src screens right click new file and set file name to forget password screen what i'm gonna do here is to create a react component inside this component define navigate from use navigate hook imported from react router dom then define state hook for email import user state from react next step is getting user info from the context import use context from react and store from store.js then define use effect import it from react and check the user info if it does exist redirect user to the home page because we're not going to implement forget password for a logged in user next step is defining submit handler function here is the code for submit handler when user click on send reset password we need to define this function inside this we prevent refreshing the page and in the try catch we send ajax request to this address we already implemented this api and pass the email that user entered in the text box then we show the message if there is an error we show the error let's import axios from axios it should be as default import import toast from react toastify and import get error from utils folder right here great we are ready to implement the jsx part define return function like this and inside that define a container get the container from react bootstrap and get helmet from react helmet async make sure that react bootstrap is coming does not have esm it should be like this next step is defining heading one forget password and inside that define a form set on submit to the submit handler function and inside the form create input box to get the email and a button 
to show submit button. Import form from React Bootstrap and button from React Bootstrap too. Make sure there is no ESM. Make sure you imported container button form from React Bootstrap like this. After implementing forget pass for the screen, it's time to go for the reset pass for the screen. Let's create reset pass for the screen.js. Find the screens folder, right click new file and set it to reset pass for the screen.js. Inside that, create a component like this and define use navigate to be able to navigate user to other pages. Import it from React Router DOM, then get the token from the URL. Import use params from React Router DOM too. After that, define two states, password and confirm password using use state hook and get the user info from the context. Import it and import store too. Here is the code. Like what we did in the forget password page, we need to prevent locked in user to access this page using use effect and inside that check if user info exists or token does not exist. In this case, we need to redirect user to home page and shouldn't be able to see reset password the screen. Save the code and let's go for submit handler. Here is the code for submit handler. When you click on the reset password and enter new password, first of all, we need to check the new password and confirm password are equal. If there is an error, show the error and return. Otherwise, send this API request, reset password. Import Axios, make sure that it's as default. Import and pass the password in the text box and the token in the URL to this API. Then navigate user to the sign-in page and show this message, password updated successfully. If there is an error, show the error message. Let's use it. Like what we did in the forget password, we need to implement the return JSX like this. It's a container imported from React Bootstrap, import helmet from helmet. The title is reset password and the heading one is reset password too. Inside this page, create this form. Import form from React Bootstrap like this and button from React Bootstrap too. Here is the button import. What we did here is to create a form group for new password, another form group for confirming new password, and a button to show reset button. That's it. Let's check the result. Make sure that in the backend, you started the application. If you already have it, restart it. And in the front end folder, you started the app. The last step is in the app.js, we need to define two routes. First of all, import them in the app.js. At the very end of import section, import forget and reset a screen. Then find the route section right after sign up. Define two routes, forget password to the forget password screen and reset password with token as parameter to the reset password screen. Save it and let's check the result. Make sure that you log out, then click on sign in, click on reset password, enter your email and click on submit. It says JWT is not defined. Let's go to the user router, find JWT, and at the beginning of this file, import it. Also make sure that you imported mailgun from utils.js. For mailgun inside the .env file, you need to define the key and domain from the mailgun website. After setting this, you need to restart the backend. This time it works we send reset password to your email. If you check your email, you will find the reset password as an email. 
For testing purpose, in the user router, in the forget password, we console log the reset password link. So if I go to the terminal, I can find it and by control click on it, I can see the reset password form. Let's change it and click on reset password. Entering new password and click on reset. As you see, it says update password. If I update it here and by clicking on sign in, I will be redirected as a logged in user to the home page. Great, we've successfully implemented reset and forget password in this lesson.